For millennia, dinosaurs have captivated our imaginations. These magnificent creatures ruled the Earth for over 180 million years. Yet, their world remains shrouded in mystery. In popular culture, dinosaurs are often depicted as roaring behemoths, their thunderous calls shaking the very ground. But how accurate are these portrayals? Could the soundscape of the Mesozoic era have been far different? Join us now as we delve into the fascinating world of paleontology and bioacoustics to uncover the truth about dinosaur vocalizations. The image of a Tyrannosaurus rex unleashing a deafening roar is a cinematic staple. But this depiction, while dramatic, is likely inaccurate. The roars we associate with large predators are produced using vocal cords, structures in the larynx that vibrate as air passes through them. However, there's no fossil evidence to suggest that dinosaurs possessed vocal cords. Modern research suggests a more nuanced and diverse range of vocalizations. Imagine a world where dinosaurs communicated with hisses, grunts, booms, and deep rumbles. This brings us to a remarkable discovery that has revolutionized our understanding of dinosaur sounds. In 2016, a groundbreaking discovery sent ripples through the scientific community, capturing the attention of researchers and enthusiasts alike. Researchers unearthed a fossilized syrinx, the vocal organ found in birds, from the remains of a Vegavis ei, a bird that lived alongside dinosaurs. This discovery was significant because it provided a rare glimpse into the vocal capabilities of ancient birds. This find provided the first concrete evidence that some dinosaurs, particularly those closely related to birds, may have produced complex vocalizations. It suggested that the evolution of bird calls might have deeper roots in the dinosaur lineage. The syrinx allows birds to create a wide range of sounds, from melodic songs to harsh alarm calls. This organ is unique to birds and is what enables them to produce such a diverse array of vocalizations. While not all dinosaurs possess this organ, it suggests a richer and more diverse soundscape than previously imagined. The presence of a syrinx in Vegavis EI hints at the possibility of complex communication among some dinosaur species. The discovery of the Vegavis syrinx has opened up a new window into the sensory world of dinosaurs, offering fresh insights into how these ancient creatures might have interacted with their environment and each other. To further unravel the mystery of dinosaur sounds, scientists have turned to their closest living relatives, birds and crocodilians. Crocodiles with their deep, guttural growls offer insights into the vocal capabilities of ancient archosaurs. By studying these modern-day relatives, researchers can draw inferences about the sounds dinosaurs may have produced. Crocodiles produce deep rumbles and growls by vibrating their hyoid bone, a small bone in the throat. Birds showcase the incredible diversity of sounds that can be achieved without vocal cords. It's not unreasonable to think that some dinosaurs, particularly those closely related to birds, may have possessed a similar vocal repertoire. If dinosaurs didn't roar like lions, how did they produce sounds? The answer lies in a fascinating array of alternative mechanisms. One possibility is closed-mouth vocalization, a technique employed by some modern-day reptiles. Another intriguing possibility is the use of air sacs. Many dinosaurs, particularly theropods like Tyrannosaurus rex, possessed extensive air sac systems connected to their respiratory systems. These air sacs may have played a role in vocalization, allowing dinosaurs to produce loud resonant calls. Imagine the Parasaurolophus, with its long curved crest, using this bony structure to amplify its calls, creating a haunting trombone-like sound. Let's return to the king of the dinosaurs, the Tyrannosaurus rex. This magnificent creature has captured our imaginations for generations. If it didn't roar like in the movies, what did it sound like? The iconic roar we hear in films is purely fictional. Based on the available evidence, scientists believe that T-Rex likely produced deep booming sounds that could travel long distances. These sounds were probably more like the calls of large modern-day birds or reptiles. Instead of a high-pitched roar, imagine a low-frequency rumble felt more than heard that would have sent tremors through the ground. This rumble would have been a powerful tool for communication and intimidation. These low-frequency sounds are particularly effective at traveling through dense environments like the forests and swamps that T-Rex inhabited. The thick vegetation would have carried these sounds far and wide, 
they would have allowed the dinosaur to communicate with others of its kind over long distances. This ability to communicate was crucial for their survival and social interactions. While we may never know the exact sound of a T-Rex's call, the evidence suggests a sound far different from the Hollywood roar. It was likely a complex and nuanced vocalization, a sound that was both powerful and awe-inspiring, fitting for such a majestic and formidable creature. While we've explored various ways dinosaurs may have produced sounds, it's also worth considering the possibility that some dinosaurs were relatively quiet. In the animal kingdom, silence can be just as effective as sound for communication, especially in situations where stealth is key. Some dinosaurs may have relied primarily on visual signals, such as elaborate displays of crests, frills or feathers, to communicate with each other. The soundscape of the Mesozoic era was likely a complex tapestry of vocalizations and non-vocal signals. The quest to uncover the sounds of dinosaurs is an ongoing journey of scientific discovery, filled with both challenges and excitement. While we may never know the exact soundscape of the Mesozoic era, each new fossil find brings us closer to understanding the acoustic world of these magnificent creatures. Every discovery, no matter how small, adds a piece to the puzzle. Dinosaurs likely communicated using a diverse array of sounds from deep rumbles and hisses to more complex vocalizations. These could range from chirps, whistles, and perhaps even honks, much like the sounds we hear from their modern-day relatives. The image of dinosaurs as roaring behemoths may be a cinematic exaggeration, but the reality is no less captivating. Their true sounds were likely more varied and fascinating, so the next time you encounter a dinosaur skeleton in a museum, close your eyes and listen closely. Imagine the sounds that once echoed through ancient forests and plains. You might just hear the faint echoes of a lost world, a world that continues to captivate our imagination and scientific curiosity.